India made a very different approach to having a constellation. Private sector has been roped in to have 12 satellites for earth imaging. I have with me Dr. Pawan Kumar Goenka. He's the chairman of InSpace, the promoter, regulator for all things space in India. Uh, Dr. Goenka, what is this special earth imaging, earth observation constellation which these four startups are going to make? Well, see, uh, what we did, Pallav, was we went through what is already available through ISRO. We looked at what is the need that we see for the future in India and kind of define what's the constellation that we need to bring out. And we thought rather than the traditional way of ISRO doing it, using industry as vendors, why not just go back to the industry and say, you do it. You do it not on behalf of ISRO, on behalf of Government of India, but as your own business uh, that you want to bring out. And we will give you some support. Uh, to make it happen, both technological support as well as financial support. And so, which are the four companies? Four companies that you see here are uh, Pixel, they are the lead uh, in the consortium, Setsure, PSI, and Dhruva. Okay. So, uh, they have. They will do the satellites and the ground segment, both. And the ground segment, both. And they will form a SPV okay. as a legal, legal entity mm -hmm. that would be uh, doing it together as, mm -hmm. uh, as, as, uh, uh, as a uh, consortium. As a consortium. Now, I'm told. Initially, there was a provision for giving them a grant, but these four bid and took no grant. Does that show that our startups are mature enough now, not just startups, but growing to be industries which can generate their own revenue and commercials? Well, actually, this was quite a surprise to us when we found that the bid was zero. In fact, just to go back, we had six companies that had applied, out of which four we had shortlisted for bid. And then three we took for the financial commercial bid. And from that, uh, this consortium bid zero, which was quite a surprise. And in some sense, it shows the confidence uh, that the private sector has now in the opportunities that we have in space in India. Uh, to come in and invest more than 1,200 crores without any guarantee of demand. Sure. We have not said we guarantee demand. We said we'll do our best, but there's no guarantee because it's an open market. Whoever gives the best offer would be getting it. So they are coming in with that kind of investment. It is the largest single investment made by private sector in India for ever in, in a space too far. So that really shows the confidence and the maturity that they have now. That yes, they have confidence they can do it. Sure. And they can make money do it. Both. Sure. So I was very happy to see that. that yeah. So so we should soon see a constellation which is a private sector constellation? Absolutely. So the, the first uh, satellite will be launched about two and a half years from now. And about five years, it will be completed. Uh, and uh, then we will have these 12 satellites. And, and they will be allowed to sell both <coughs> in India and abroad? So Anyway, it's their business. It's their business. They do what they want to do with it. Of course, there are regulatory requirements on what they cannot do or they can do, which is applies to anyone as per in a space uh, NG NGP. But other than that, they can sell in India, sell to government, sell to private sector, go outside India, sell outside India, do whatever. And, and, and make a business out of it. So you brought the private sector into space. Well, and it seems very successful, I'm sure. We'll have to wait and watch, but it seems a successful model. That was a mandate given to in space. And this is, uh, I'm very, very happy that we have reached this point. Now, the real proof of the pudding is in the eating. Right. So we have to see the satellites come out. Uh, five years from now, these 12 satellites should be, should be there. And more importantly, they should get enough business because they are taking a leap of faith trusting that uh, the country will provide them enough business that they don't look back and say, why did I do it? Uh, so we have to generate that business. And today we are standing in NM 2.0. And if you go through all the presentations today, you will see that the government, both the state and central government is data hungry, literally data hungry, right? So I don't see any reason if these guys do a good job and they're cost competitive, they will have more demand. But today we are buying from Planet M and Max R. So why should not we buy from our own startups and keep the money that, in India? That's that's the current situation. But five years from now, the data need would be ten times. True. I have absolutely no doubt in my mind. True. True. I, I I wish you luck in trying to get the Indian startup to mature. And they have also shown how they are a mature company in trying to bid at a zero cost for the government. Never happened before. Never and, ever happened before. And, and, and it's a great idea and a great way to take forward.
Thanks a lot for speaking to me, Dr. Goenka. And I wish InSpace and the four startup companies, I don't know whether we should call them startups now, they are becoming... They won't, now. Be, they won't be four they, years from now. Yes. <laughs> See, that's a, that's a notional definition of four, five years, right. ten years. They can do better there when they are bidding for zero. They are becoming very competitive companies. That's the headline everywhere now. Yes. It's zero a, bid. Zero bid and a good, good move. Thanks a lot, sir. Thank you. So that was Dr. Pawan Goenka, chairman of InSpace, telling us how India would get the first private Earth observation satellite constellation and the four startups are going to be giving India quality data and they would be making a business out of it. That is how world businesses run and the Indian startups are doing exactly that. With camera person Ashok Mahale in New Delhi, Pala Bagla for NDTV.